NAB predicting more rate hikes, Woodside's biggest overseas project ever, and do you have a ticket in the $100 million Powerball? Trading Up, a collaboration by The West Australian and Graffa. The Reserve Bank is doubling down on its rhetoric, saying it won't tolerate inflation too high for too long in its minutes from its June meeting. What does that mean for home buyers? There could be more rate hikes again if inflation doesn't start to come down. In response to the minutes, economists at the NAB said they predict rates will peak at 4.6%. If they are right, then that's another two rate hikes of a quarter of a percent each. Ouch. Woodside is spending $10.5 billion on its biggest ever overseas project. The money is going to be spent on the development of its Trion oil field in the Gulf of Mexico. Woodside Chief Meg O'Neill says the project offers attractive investment returns. The project will produce 480 million barrels of oil from 2028. After weeks of will they or won't they, shareholders in St Barbara had voted to support the sale of the miners' Gualia operations to Rayleigh Finlayson's Genesis Minerals. St Barbara shareholders will get $300 million in cash and $200 million Genesis shares. The Genesis deal trumps the Silver Lake Resources offer, which was also having a crack. The ASX was at a seven-week high today with the energy stocks leading gains. AGL, which was one of Macquarie's top stocks to watch, was up almost 3%. Ampol was 0.62% higher and lithium miner Olcom was up 1.5%. Mineral resources boss Chris Ellison has rained fire on the federal government's critical mineral strategy. He says the 500 million blueprint won't help Australia become a competitive destination for battery chemical processing. But the resources minister says the government won't be handing out bottles of cash that people have been accustomed to. Money, please. Oh, no, no, there's no money. Oh, no problem. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's fine. Um, I'll just destroy this office. Oh, hey! <clears throat> money, please. The government's strategy is to make 500 million available for infrastructure for critical minerals projects in northern Australia. Still to come, one Powerball and I'm out of here. And the gold miners' golden run. Stay tuned. Half of Australia is expected to have a ticket in the next Powerball draw. And it's not surprising, with the Powerball at the highest level in six months, $100 million. Here's the winning numbers. And the Mondo Ball number is 21. Grandma. You okay, boy? We won the lottery. We won! <laughs> It's the second biggest prize draw ever offered in Australia, and data from recent draws shows the most commonly drawn Powerball numbers are 3 and 19. Also in the money today are investors of gold miner Bright Star Resources. Shares surged 30% after the company announced it plans to begin mining operations at its Selkirk Open Pit gold mine in August. You can find more business news content on thewest.com.au or to see all the data and insights behind this video, check out graffa.com or download our app from the App Store. Thanks for joining me on this special episode of Trading Up. I'm Sarah Hewen. See you next time.